Hey, welcome to BG Codes. I am Brad Garropy, and earlier today I was inspired by a tweet from James Q. Quick. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Earlier today, James tweeted, what do you think the easiest way is to write and run a hello world serverless function? And he says he likes to use Netlify and run Netlify dev. Now, this inspired me because I feel like his tweet was like 80% of the way there. Uh, but he uh, might not have known about this awesome tool called Netlify CLI, which can scaffold out serverless functions for you. So in this quick video, I'm gonna set up some serverless functions, uh, a hello world, a protected API route, and a GraphQL server all very quickly. So let's hop into VS Code. First thing we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna make a directory and let's just call it serverless. And we'll CD into that serverless directory. Uh, and the first thing we want to do is make a netlify.toml file. This is going to tell Netlify where our serverless functions live. So we'll touch netlify.toml. And then we'll open it up in VS Code. Um, so the way this works is this is a toml file. And in the build section, we can specify a functions parameter, which says, hey, Netlify, this is where our functions directory lives, and this is what we want you to build for us. Now, in order to get this um, CLI installed, you should uh, globally install the Netlify CLI. So this would be uh, installable via NPM. So NPM I-G for global Netlify CLI. I already have this installed, so I can run Netlify help, and you'll be able to see all the different commands that this CLI has to offer. Uh, what I really like is that it has a short version NTL, which does the same thing. Now, um, one of the awesome commands it has is functions. So let's just run NTL functions help. And this is gonna show you all the different things you can do with serverless functions on Netlify and First and foremost, it has a functions create command that allows you to create a new function. So let's run that. I'll run NTL, the short version. Function, you could, you could call function or functions. Create, and let's just call this, let's do the hello world example. Uh, but my wife is Mexican, so I'm gonna use hola. And so what this is doing is uh, it says, it, it found that you specified a functions directory in your Netlify dot toml file uh, and we created the directory for you the functions directory and now it's asking what template do you want to use uh, and the first option is hello world so let's start there uh, boom and just like that inside of functions we have hola a serverless function named hola with an hola.js uh, this is a super basic serverless function uh, it exports a method called handler and ultimately returns an object with a status code of 200 and a body saying hello world or alternately a subject with a query parameter. So let's test this out. Netlify has this, Netlify CLI has this great command called dev, which actually builds and runs your serverless functions locally so that you don't have to actually deploy them to access them. So that's what we're gonna use. And we have our server now ready on localhost 53929. That's kind of weird. Um, and by default, Netlify puts your functions at the path .netlify functions and then the name of your function. We called ours Ola. Look at this, we get a response, hello world. And as we saw in the code, you could also give it a query parameter of name. And let's say hi to my wife, Gabby, hit enter. It's able to read that query parameter and substitute it in. So that's our basic building block there. Uh, next step would be to um, maybe like make some redirects because it kind of sucks to go to that Netlify functions um, route every time. So Netlify.toml supports this thing called redirects. Then we can define as many of these as we want, but 
let's do this. Let's say um, we're going to take anything from slash API because that's the URL we'd like to hit. And we're going to redirect that to our Netlify functions um, route uh, and then place uh, the rest of the URL right after that. And let's do this with a status of 200 so that we don't rewrite the URL. So this should be redeployed. And this should still work. But also, now our redirect should work. So instead of having to type in Netlify functions every time, we can just go to API. And look at that. We still get hello, Gabby. And let's just say hello, Brad, right? That route is still functioning. Redirects are working, all thanks to Netlify dev. So going back, let's create another type of serverless function. And again, Nellify makes this easy. Uh, NTL function create, and let's just look at the options. I want something, how about like a protected route? And they do have a template for this. Way down here, you can see a protected function. This function uses Nellify identity authentication to, uh, to protect the endpoint. Now we don't have this identity set up, but we can definitely take a look at how this works. Basically, uh, the handler is provided context by Netlify and inside of that context, there should be a user object if they're authenticated. We're not gonna be authenticated in this case, so we're gonna see this message. We won't have a claim and we'll see no claims be gone and we'll get a 401 with a not allowed response. Start up our dev environment again, and let's try this out. 53968, port changed on us. Again, we're in an API, and this one is called protected. Look at that, we got a 401 redirected uh, with a not allowed response. That was super easy. So let's do something that's typically considered advanced. Uh, setting up a GraphQL server is, is typically considered difficult. And, you know, I've had my troubles with it in the past. But let me show you how easy it is when you're using Netlify. We'll create another serverless function. And we're going to call it GraphQL. And we'll choose GraphQL from the, oh, it's in here somewhere. Here we go, Apollo GraphQL. We'll choose it from the template list. And I, I should note, um, you can actually specify the template that you'd like to use on the command line, but I figure scrolling through these template options is nicer because uh, we can show you what else is there. So now in our functions directory, Netlify created for us the GraphQL folder, and every function is its own self-contained unit. So it's going to have its own package.json and node modules of all the dependencies, which in this case would be Apollo server Lambda and the actual GraphQL library. And let's take a look at what this actually does. Here's the GraphQL server. Um, by default, it sets up some basic queries, some basic types like authors, uh, and some different query endpoints like a, a hello one, get all the authors, get a single author, find an author by name, all that stuff. So this is super sweet. Let's run it. And now we're on port. 54008, and let's check this endpoint. API GraphQL. This opens up GraphQL Playground. How cool is that? It's built right in. And what's even better is now that you're in GraphQL Playground, you can write a query. Yeah. You can do a query, let's say to the hello endpoint. Run it, and look, we've just hit the hello endpoint. Or they had one called all authors, and every author has what? An ID, their name, and if they're married or not, we can run that. There you go. We have a live GraphQL server up and running with GraphQL Playground in like two seconds. Netlify is awesome. So this is just a super simple introduction to what the Netlify command line can do for you and for your serverless functions. Um, but this is just local. Let's actually deploy it. It's really easy. You can say NTL deploy prod because I want this to actually be pushed out. 
and Netlify is gonna know if you have a project created here or not. We don't, so let's create and configure a new site. We'll add it to my team, and let's give it the name of BG Serverless. And yeah, I wanna publish this current directory. We're not building anything. This is gonna take just a couple seconds, and all these serverless functions are gonna be live on Netlify.com. Almost, almost, almost. So there we go. We have a live website, bgserverless.netlify.app. Let's open it up. Not found, right? Because we don't actually have any content there, but we do have content at the API route. Hola. Look. Our hello world function is live on the internet. Same with our GraphQL server. So that was just a super quick introduction to Netlify, serverless functions, and the command line and how easy it can make things for you. Uh, thank you for watching BG Codes. I'm Brad Garropy. You can find me on Twitter at twitter.com slash and on my own personal website, bradgarapy.com. Thanks for watching, y'all. Take care.